is going absolutely swimmingly. And gentlemen out there, wherever you may be, I'd like you to take out your notebooks and take note of this particular little bird's strategy because I have to tell you, I am head over heels in love with him. He has kept us so entertained. He is absolutely hilarious. He's a little pintailed wider and not only is he gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, but he has got all the moves down. Now there's two females that have been hanging out in the trees and of course now that we're trying to show you it, he's going to stop what he was doing. But he's been, he's been going all out to impress them. He has been dancing, he has been fluttering, he has been showing off that long tail to the absolute best of his ability. And I think, Fergus, he might actually have succeeded. His technique went a little bit awry when he started fluttering around and sort of landed on top of the female without any warning, and I don't think she took kindly to that. And I actually think that is what's caused his current lonely state. But up until then, he was doing a truly fantastic job. He was fluttering, he was trying to hover, and the pin tail split, it, it, it sort of spread into, it, into a V shape. I've never ever watched the mating display or the courtship display of a pintailed wider before. But I have to tell you, it is intriguing, to say the least. Come on, mister. Yes, you're very fluffy. You're very fluffy and very beautiful. Now, won't you show everybody what you were doing earlier? And there is always... It's just Murphy's Law. Come on. Come on. If you do it again, maybe the ladies will come back. It was such a spectacular dance. Now, consulting detective, you would like to know if this is the bird that hovers. It was hovering. Yes, it was, it was definitely hovering. There's quite a few, there are quite a few bird species that do do that. And that do hover in one place. Um, sunbirds often do it, or attempt to stay in one place. Hummingbirds, of course, are the ones that are the best at it. But we don't, oh, there goes the, there goes. <laughs> he's on the floor now. Oh, he's chasing the lady. Ah, oh, mister, you're making my life difficult. Uh, so quite a few birds hover. There might be one that you're thinking of in particular. I'm not quite sure. And I apologize. Perhaps it's something that one of the other guides, one of the other presenters have mentioned. I'm distracted by our gentleman over there. Now he's all fluffed up. That female came past. You came in a little bit too strong there, mister. You probably should have let her get used to the idea first. Perhaps bought her dinner. It's the puffing up and the fluffing of himself that's making my day as well. Here's the lady. Oh, this is so hard. Fergus is doing a fantastic job, but this is very difficult. <laughs> Buddy, you were doing so well, but you've got to stop landing on top of the females. Now, David, you say this is number 31 for your bird list. That is fantastic news. And for our new viewers, what we always do is we encourage you to start a bird list because it's actually a really lovely way of learning the different birds. It's also kind of like a treasure hunt. That's how I think of birding. It's a, it's a sort of, they're not a collectible, that's not quite what I mean, but there's, there's something so fantastic about building up the number of birds that you see and the satisfaction of seeing something new each time. So definitely I would encourage you all to keep a bird list. He's gone now. Well done, Fergus.